We are in a floodplain here, and Matthew brought in a rising lake. And here you can see the water line on this condensation line, and that's consistent with the line on the support columns and on the wall. So we still have saturation in the cinder block. Water went away to some extent. Mold on the wiring, mold on the secondary flex ducts. Here we have a secondary crawl space located under the front porch. And you can see the condensation on the metal decking. This condensation keeps this area constantly wet. Thus we have the minerals rising and bacterial growth. We have a sealed crawl space. However, the moisture barrier is not sealed on the seams or to the wall. In addition, there's a secondary crawl space in which the ground is not covered and water is being generated on the decking material. So that's acting as a big humidifier and essentially we are overwhelming this dehumidifier which currently is not operational. So recommendations here are to get the mold off of the ductwork and put in a proper moisture barrier. Here is the return side of the duct. You can hear the debris rattling around. Sounds like big chunks of drywall. And then on the supply side, I don't feel any water, don't hear any noise. You can see the water line on this cinder block. It's just below this distribution box. Even though the distribution box is rusted, you can see they did a decent job of applying mastic to the box and the collars. And there's no sounds of water inside the ducts. So there is mold on the outside, but without cutting them open, and I don't see any reason to, I don't think we have water on the inside. Again, the air handler is above, about six inches above the water line. There is extensive mold growth on the ducts though. There is mold growth creeping up the main beam. Hurricane Matthew raised the water level in Sunset Lake and it brought it up into the home. It actually came up three feet on this home, entered the crawl space. And fortunately for this home, it came in just under the air ducts. This is a happy home with a scary event. That was it. Matthew flooded the crawl space and the water rose two to three feet in the crawl space. This is a closed crawl space, yet it uses combustion air from the crawl space. There is an additional crawl space in which the metal decking is causing condensation to form. It's not rusting the galvanized decking, however, it's creating a humidification process that happens in this crawl space as well as the main crawl space, making the dehumidifier, which is not operational, run much harder. Pulling down the insulation, I did not see any mold growth within the areas that I checked. However, there is extensive mold growth on the outside of the ductwork. The ductwork is well sealed. However, the mold growth that is on the ductwork and the main beam is able to enter the home through unsealed penetrations in the floor for the electrical, plumbing, 
and possibly HVAC. Thank you for the opportunity to be of service.